are you guys? Come on out. Well, it's a, another windy day here. And welcome to another poultry video uh, with Hunter Ridge Outdoors. And um, basically, I want to give you guys an update with what's going on. And since spring is here, you know it's that time when hens start to go broody. And uh, I'll show you guys the rest of the crew in a minute. With that being said, let's go in the coop. Prepare for some noise, guys. There's one, two, and three. Folks, this has really never happened to me, but I have three broody hens at once. Um, this is the one, my only speckled Sussex. She was the first to go broody. She had, I put nine eggs under her, four of them from the Easter egg breeding flock, and then the other five are from Nuggets crew, basically the second flock. And uh, second group, whatever you want to call them. And the wind just blew the door. Shut it. <laughs> Shut the door, huh? So, um, but anyways. And then a few days ago, almost a week ago, my Easter egg or mix went broody. And I knew it was going to happen because she was roughing up like that even when she was outside. Even though she wasn't in the nesting box at night yet. So I knew she was going to go broody. And she would be doing this right here. But now... She's officially broody, so what I did was I took the four Easter egg eggs out from under her and put them under her, and then, just a few nights ago, I saw this one in the nesting box tonight, and I knew she was going to go broody too, because uh, she was doing the same thing as that one, walking around outside or whatever with puffed up feathers and all that. I didn't like that as well. But I did not see this one come really going broody that much. But then I started noticing her staying in the nesting boxes longer. I finally saw her at night and I was like, oh my goodness. So, uh, she's the calmest out of these two. That's the loudest and that's in between. Pretty girl. They're very sweet though. They don't peck me or anything. So she, she might try to. But, um, but then anyway, when she went broody, I was like, well, we got three broody hens and nine chicken eggs. What do you do? give each of them three eggs so um, she did have the four Easter egg or eggs under her um, oh I just noticed okay <laughs> what was wrong with me Whew. glad I got it that is an egg that is not marked obviously uh, so that was laid today but I have she was sitting on four Easter egg or eggs but you can see the eggs have EE -E under her and that's uh, because they were from the Easter egg or flock. And you were stuck. <laughs> Get your head off one there. <laughs> you stuck. I know she was doing, She was moving her eggs. But I was like, she shouldn't stay in there that long. So just making sure. Yeah, she's got the three of the Easter egg or eggs under her. And here's Brownie, my speckled Sussex. She has the uh, a leghorn uh, white egg from Nuggets Flock and two brown ones. Got Nuggets Flog written on them, so I know it's which. And then, then that's this is the offspring of Brownie, my Sussex. That's mixed with my Buff Warmington Rooster and my Speckled Sussex Hen that's right there, Broody. And here, she's got the other Easter Egg or Egg and the other two brown ones, Nuggets Flock. She goes doing her dance, making sure they're all good. The egg settled in, all that. So, yeah, there goes three hens that won't be laying for a while. <laughs> Instead of that, they'll be hatching babies. Hatching some eggs, huh? But uh, they're all very sweet, though. They don't try to attack me. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. And then one more major update that uh, involves Nuggets Flock. Let me go show you guys that right now. All right, guys, so... That line, or these lines that you see, uh, are the barrier of where my old dog's dog lot was at right here. My lad passed away in 2018, and uh, we just got rid of his dog lot. So if we keep walking this way, we end up finding some trees right here. Just looking around here, and bam, 
here we go guys this will be the home of nuggets flock um got this from tractor supply and it is an eight by eight run and it holds 24 birds and uh, super excited um yeah this is where nuggets flock will be staying uh because well think about it this way um you have more room to put in nuggets area uh, first of all we'll be moving the easter eggers in there and uh, the area that the easter eggers are at now before they get moved will be held for some chicks that will grow up this year that i'm going to get and uh, but first i gotta put those broody hens in there with their babies so but i'm excited here's basically how you open you take your two fingers right here fix real quick Bam, just like that. Doors open, we're ready to go. And he's got to show this pretty hard. Make sure it's locked in place. But boom, there we go. So, uh, that's basically the updates. I wanted to uh, let you guys know what's going on and what to expect in the very near future. And by next week, uh, the eggs uh, that are under both, uh, all three hens, uh, they should be hatching next week I think uh yeah a week from today today's friday so folks stay tuned for that and i will see you guys later on bonus footage luigi gonna show off and chase the hens <laughs> got some big spurs there he's doing good the brahma there there's my Rhode Island White or Amber Link, whatever breed she is. Wasn't planning on showing you that, but I saw him coming down the yard here and I was like, oh boy, I gotta get this on video. Alright, guys. That'll be it for this video, and that hen says, wait for me. Sorry, I'm not focusing. When we're always gonna get another hen. Here we go. <laughs> Still got the energy.